Hello, my name is Penny and this is Penny's Art Emporium. And it's lovely that you're here with me today. I thought that I would like to do another little fluffy animal. They seem to be really popular and I've been requested to do some more. So I thought today, as always, I like to do something a little bit different to what I've done before. So I'd like to do a fluffy bunny, but instead of the white background that I've used previously, I would like to use this lustrous black as the background. And then I think that it would really help to show up a really light coloured fluffy bunny with lots of tufty ears and lots of fluffy fur. So that's what I would like to do. So I've got lots of light colours ready. I've got some matte and then I've also got some metallic paints. Um, and I will put it onto hyperlapse for you and we'll see how that goes. So here I am, I'm just painting my edges with the lustrous black for my base. I just want to make sure that my edges are really nicely covered and not patchy. So just by doing those first, just make sure that they look good. And now I'm just measuring out the centre of the canvas, which is where I want the bunny's nose to be. And I'm just drawing a rough outline of the bunny in the metallic pearl white. I use that colour because you can really see the outlines that you've drawn, but it won't impact on the shape of the bunny later. And then I'm just filling it in with the lustrous black around the edge, making sure not to go into the centre where the rabbit is going to be. It's a lovely colour, this lustrous black. It looks quite blue when it is wet, but it does dry much darker. It has a really nice finish to it. And now it's just a case of putting in kind of light and shade areas. I've got my mixed tray of paint here, which has got a mixture of my matte and my metallic paints. So on there at the moment, I've got pink for the ears, which is matte. I've got sand, which is matte. I've got a metallic silver and metallic titanium gold and champagne gold. I've got a little bit of the lustrous black on that. And it's just a case of mixing them together and just filling in the areas where I want it to be darker and lighter and just getting a rough outline of his features by putting that on with my palette knife. So I just add the colour on and then squish it about quite a bit uh, in the direction that I want the fur to be. So it takes a little while <laughs> before it resembles a rabbit. It does take a while. And to be honest, at this point, you never know if it's going to look like a rabbit or not. For a long time, I think uh, it looks a little bit like a dog at the moment, <laughs> but it's all coming together and it's just a case of adding more and more colour. That's the more matte white that comes out of my mixed bottles. Um, that one is uh, an Amsterdam white and that's mixed with Floetrol and water, which all my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water to make them nice and fluid but not too fluid that they just all run into each other. You can sit them on top of each other uh, and they gradually sort of build up. The lustrous black, it does absorb the white quite a lot. So it is a case of just putting on more and more paint, building it up and putting his little furry feet on here fur on his feet, it just looks really sweet when it's all done. Just putting the rough shape of his outline in. There's my palette knife there and layering it all up. If I get any little dots which 
have little splashes, then I do just go over them with the lustrous black, just so that you haven't got lots of splashy dots everywhere. So his ears are gradually getting a little bit bigger and his fluff is gradually uh, getting more fluffy. Sorry about my head. As you can see, I cover my head to make sure that my hair doesn't dangle in my paintings. It has done that quite a lot before, so now I completely cover my hair. And of course, wear my gloves so my hands don't get covered in paint. So they think bits for his ears, you can see. And I haven't done his main face yet. I'm leaving that until the last minute so that I can concentrate on his features because his face is obviously very, very important. And before now I have done the face a little bit sooner um, and then I've had to redo it because it's all merged into each other and I've wanted to change some things. So this is where it's really starting to take shape. I've got some 24 karat gold going on now which I haven't put on yet before and uh, this just really helps for it to really show up quite a lot. I'm putting a bit more pink for his ears. It's really starting to look really fluffy. As you can see it takes a while. I mean this took about an hour and a half in total to do. Building his ears up again, trying to get the shape right. And now the last little thing, just putting his features in. So I will let you see that with the wet results. So here is this bunny, it's just about finished now, I fiddled a little bit, I've added a little fluffy tail and just made his paws look really cute, and I'm calling it he again, I seem to do that with my animals. His eyes and his face I will tidy up a little bit when it is dry, but this is what it's looking like at the moment, he's got these lovely tufty fluffy ears with those different colours, a bit of uh, 24 karat gold, champagne gold, titanium gold, some pearl white, white. I added a little bit of uh, the dark background colour just in places, just to give a bit of a contrast with his little face there with his whiskers. And uh, he's got his little chest and his very fluffy little paws. So I think he's looking very cute. So I will add the eyes when it is dry just to give the little details and uh, we'll just let that dry. So bye for now. So here is this little bunny. He's had a couple of days to dry and this is just with the natural light coming through the window with no lights on at all in the house and I'd wanted him to really stand out on the dark background and with the metallic paints and the white and the very light colours I think he really does do that and I'm really pleased with how he's turned out. He just looks really sweet. I have just adjusted his eyes very slightly to make them a more even shape and I've added the little white dots just to give him some character. And you can see that lovely fluffy fur and how those colours all blend together nicely. And you can see that the lustrous black has a nice shiny finish to it. And it's a contrast next to the matte and metallic paints. And if I turn slightly towards the light, you can really see how those 
metallic paints shine. So I will decide later on whether I will put a varnish on or not, whether I will use a matte varnish which will dull down the shine or whether I will put a satin or a gloss, I'm not sure yet, or leave it as it is. And here is his white fur at the bottom, his lovely little fluffy tail. And he's got some pearl metallic white and just matte white, a little bit of sand, a little bit of gold in that fur. And then his chest is a slightly darker grey. And his little chin, his nose. So there he is, and that's just in the natural light. So I hope you enjoyed watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.